How you doing? Ryan Braswell with Local Realty, and we're here on Ask the Locals with Gary Rosen. He is the owner of the Synergy Beer Project. He brought some nice samplers, so gonna gonna crack one of these open while Gary uh, introduces himself. Tell us about yourself, Gary. Uh, hey guys, uh, my name is Gary Rosen. I like to call myself the Grand Admiral of all things Synergy. I've been in the beer industry for 15 plus years, working for various distributors and breweries. And uh, after making a lot of people a lot of money, I decided to go out and sell my own stuff and make myself a little bit of money. Uh, what sparks Synergy? Tell, you know, what, what is Synergy? What does that mean to you? Post pandemic, really, a lot of things changed in sales. A lot of things changed in marketing and the way people went out and all. And when I moved back home, I was away for 12 years, came back to Long Island. I really had a lot of ideas of doing things differently. What I really wanted to do is encapsulate the saying, beer is for everybody. You knew my father, Ed. He was a big name in the home brewing community, in the, in the local beer community. And what he did was he brought so many groups of people together. He was a music teacher, so he brought teachers, he brought musicians, he was an avid bicycler. He brought bicyclists and beer people together. And that's really what I'm looking to do. All of my beers are 100% a collaborative effort. Awesome. So while I proudly brew my beer in Riverhead at Uber Geek, anybody that I collaborate with is involved in the flavor profile, the recipe, um, or the artwork. Both of these arts can labels are done by local artists. Uh, my buddy Phil did my logo. So every beer, there's at least two or three people involved. Uh, two or three locals, I love it. Yeah, I just wanna take care of all of Long Island, local artists, local tattoo artists, local bands, uh, restaurants, uh, influencers, you know? Just yeah, you really, really want to help those local businesses and whatnot who are here. And, and and I like the synergy part of it, like you're saying, you're taking together, you know, just like your father did, and taking yeah. a, a collective group and making something unique and great and, and amazing. How do you pick and choose? Where do you come up with the inspiration for the beers? The first place I went to was the local homebrew clubs. I did my own version of a pro-am like you guys yeah. get to do, which was kind of cool. I put it out to the three local homebrew clubs and we, chose the best in the style that we had asked for to do. Right now, the way the market is, uh, not being known, I have a, a smaller range of styles that I can brew. Okay, what um, do you mean? So like just, so, just for the public or just because of equipment or? or uh, no, or, no, 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 for the public. Uh, for the public and okay. what actually sells. It's cool. uh, kind of a, a truncated, uh, shorter list of styles that people it's are like actually IPAs going for. IPAs sours. IPAs, sours, pastry stouts, you know, until somebody gets to know my name a little bit more and then sure. I could venture out. Yeah, brand um, recognition kind of deal. Yeah, exactly. Okay. And these are palatable for the most amount of people, you know, that, that 0.1% that we're generally in. Sure, with sure, the home yeah. brewers, but a little bit for everybody, you know? Beer is for everybody, and that's what I'm trying to do with I mean, this styles. is phenomenal. I really like it. This is this is a sour, correct? Is what yes, it's yes, yes. That, um, so nowadays you could take a, uh, a cereal box and steal it and slap it on a, a beer label and turn <laughs> it into that so I could steal obscure song lyrics. Uh, and these two beers, actually, I did with five women in and around the beer industry and, and influencers that's for- That's amazing. Uh, Women's Month. Um, so this is a dry hopped sour, a lot of tart, fresh fruit. I think a lot of people like that heading into the summertime. And this is a fruited IPA. So this is the hoppier version. It's a little synergistic, one with a little bit more of the tartness. And it's not, it, this beer is definitely not uh, lip puckering at all mm -hmm. in any way, shape or form. It's got a very nice light tartness to it that does mix well with the, the, the fruit and it's very light. I do enjoy it. Look into, Tick something for everybody. The like the people that are really into beer, it's sour enough, it's complex enough. For people that are just trying to stray into something new, this is refreshing and I like these flavors. That's it's really what I'm looking for. Yeah, it's almost like a shandy in a way, uh, you know, to kind of describe it as, you know, a, a more commercial kind of light beer example that that, you know, it's not as this is tart, a shandy is very light and refreshing. This has those same kind of fruity lightness tones and stuff to me on it. Uh, so if that's a beer that you really like, uh, this might be something to pick up a four pack of because uh, it might be a nice little foray into the sours if you like that kind of uh, beer and want to try that style. Yeah. So how long has Synergy been open for? Um, about a year now. Uh, we're pretty much looking at our year. Um, and as of time of recording this, just for legal things, we are still a DBA of Uber Geek. We are under Uber okay. Geek's license. Sure. I am in the process of getting my license, so in some time it will be me and I will actually be the Grand Admiral, but. And this is actually just, a you know, yeah. fairly common thing within the brewing contract world. Brewing, it's called yes. contract brewing. And yes. a lot of people, they will get their starts um, or be able to kind of do proof of concept things yes. like this, you know? 
Um, so from the business side of that, which is interesting because you're approaching that and you're the admiral, you know, <laughs> so you're getting ready to really kind of take that four way for it into, you know, really owning your own business license with the SLA and all that kind of stuff. What keeps you up at night as a business owner looking to make that decision? Oof. So uh, for me, it's the paperwork. Uh, paperwork sucks. I mean, I was a therapist and a college professor before this, and I hated grading tests, and I hated doing my paperwork. Um, so luckily, the SLA Solutions company has really been very helpful with me, and they send me this thing, and they're like, hey, give me this. And then I go and I get it for them. And then they check it off, and they're like, this is good. Now do this. Okay, um, so that's what keeps me up is I have to do this paperwork. I have to do that. Is it? Am I taking too long? And they move at my speed, and they've been uh, godsends because I have a lot on my table these days. I'm sure. So, and and that that's something that always intrigued me about being a brewery owner. How do you balance the business aspect of the costs and production and time with the creative side of it? If I have to make a little bit less on a specific beer then I will. Cause for me, it's about helping other local businesses and local artists and all. So if I'm making $8 instead of $10, I'm okay with that right I now. Gotcha. I have some other things. It's called building also. a brand. Yeah, you're going yeah, through absolutely. That, yeah. One day when I get to be a little bit bigger or something, the margins will come there. I just really like ideas and I'm able to put Good them- idea, man. In, you like the, yeah. I've, some are better than others, arguably. Sure. Um, <laughs> So that, I'm just really going full steam ahead with that. And okay. I'm trying to keep all my beers at a specific price point. There's two different price points. So yeah, you want to keep as them long in more as of I an make affordable it price point instead of those $22 a four pack kind of beers that exactly. people shy away from. Yeah, whatnot. exactly. Again, it's kind of understanding the market, who's buying what at what price point. I can't have a, a $30 four pack. Some people can. Sure. I cannot. I understand. <laughs> hey, listen, that's and, and that's all part of, of the, the woes of growing a business and yes. stuff like that. Um, so now what is the biggest challenge you're facing in you know in your marketplace? Like what is what is the biggest hurdle that you continuously have to overcome? It's it's a crowded space out there. There's 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 more breweries than ever in the United States. Sure. There's there's I think seventy now on Long Island. That might just be Suffolk alone. Uh, yeah, actually. I know. That might be Do Suffolk not quote me on that number, but uh, I'm pretty sure I believe it's, it's right Suffolk around there. there. There's a lot, um, yeah. So it's crowded. of what makes me stand out. Um, again, the quality of the beer is there. Like Rob and, and, and Uber Geek are phenomenal brewers. I think some of the best oh, Uber Geek in like the state. The just absolutely. Um, so uh, standing out in a, in a market uh, space how do i get into the coal box when there's a lot of really good beer out there what's going to make somebody choose uh, a, a synergy beer and that's kind of why i like some of that collaboration because craft beer needs new friends you need new clients and homes and all so hey guess what this tattoo artist that i worked with oh look at that he did that i'm I, i'm gonna try this beer because of him so like that is standing out uh okay it's probably my biggest challenge right now and and getting the name out there and followers and which you've helped me a ton. You've taught oh, me a lot about Instagram, <laughs> wait, man. You know, like how to the do reels. this. You've been whatever. killing it with the reels. What's your, uh, give us your handle real quick. What's your Instagram? Uh, Synergy handle? Brew Project. Synergy, Synergy Brew Project. underscore brew. Uh, little line. Synergy, 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 Synergy Brew Project. Project you got it'll it. It'll come up. That won't be a problem. It's on all the cans, I promise. Okay. It's on all the cans. <laughs> and, and one thing that's great is I know you also plug, um, you know, you plug the place that you create. You plug the creators who help you as well. Everybody that collaborates is on there with their Instagram. Handle. So now while you're you know, coming up with your beer ideas and stuff like that. Are, are you pulling inspiration from specific art? Are, are you like, hey, that's a tattoo and you want to turn it into a beer? Are you like, hey, I love these flavors. I want to turn this into, you know, I want to I want to make a new beer with these flavors. You know, tell me where you pull your inspiration from. Um, A little bit of both. So, so two different lines of beers that I have are just kind of from my asshole sense of humor. And this is my stolen song lyric line. <laughs> so I'm going to have some obscure song lyrics in a line of beers. Uh, and then my myth series uh, started as just me being an idiot because one day somebody said something about New Zealand. I was like, oh, New Zealand is a myth. And they're like, what? I'm like, well, I've never been there. I don't believe it's real, <laughs> you know? So I turned New Zealand into a, uh, New Zealand is a myth. We slapped a uh, picture of their version of the Loch Ness Monster on the can that a phenomenal artist friend of mine did and it was a hazy ipa with just australian hops because that's, awesome. that's my little stupid joke so i will be doing australia is a myth with just new zealand hops when germany is a myth i will take a traditional german style and 
tweak it, which I is like just that. so traditionally American. So both really, you sure. know, hey, this is this is my idea of a beer. These are some like here's some names that I want to make a beer. And right now I have uh, artists uh, collective. I have a, a bunch of local artists that I put out to them. Hey, here's some beer names. Here's some styles. Come up with some artwork okay. for me, which uh, we're going to be doing a lot more with that and interactive marketing real soon. You should also, I, w I would I would think you would have a, a, a really good following with people where to put that out there as a reel. Like, hey, you know, this is what we're looking to do. Come up with some artwork and do a little contest. Kind of I, I, I have had people reach out to me already. Good, good. Uh, which I think is out of my whopping 570 <laughs> followers. One of them was like, hey, how do I do this? I, I, I just... I love that. That's the power of social media right there. I love it. Yeah, so so I have all my things out uh, for the rest of the year, but what I have is four or five labels to this artist, artist collective, and they're coming up with that, and then the winning entry, like, so I have five artists vying for all of them. The one that I pick, I'm then going to commission into an actual work of art, and then uh, we'll have some kind of contest of who, like, will win the actual art and all, just to make the advertising marketing a little bit more interactive. A lot of what you do, man, sure. you know, instead of finding a real estate agent, you, engagement, you're out there a hundred percent. That's, that's really what I, that's kind of a, a big thing that I'm really focusing on. So it seems like you have a lot of good plans for, for some beer. So tell me about the most ambitious beer you've made or the most ambitious beer that, you know, if, if you can, you know, yeah, that's sure, sure, sure. So I really, really want to do uh, one of those slushy beers. That okay. Kind of, <laughs> like the like the the fruit yes. smoothie beers yeah kinda? fruit smoothie okay. beers um okay. wickedly expensive oh you, you absolutely gotta use a there's fruit, no right? point there's saying? absolutely no point in 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 trying to do them because there's no money to be made so my next beer that will be out uh, is actually going to be called daiquiri dreams okay and it's a strawberry daiquiri flavored Berliner Weiss oh so I think my biggest ambition is to make that affordable okay. Um, in what I want to have happen and what sure. we could actually do. Um, and when are you trying to release that? Uh, I believe we have a canning day. Like, it's not going to be till June. Okay. Um, so yeah. you've brewed it and... No, not yet. Oh, we you haven't brewed, brewed it yet. yet. Okay, we're, we're, we're still working on that recipe of how to make it to, yeah. where I want it to be and where it could still be affordable because I'd like to make Yeah, of course. At least, at least break even a little bit on it, you know? If you yeah, gotta, I'm a year it, in. It works I mean, for free. You exactly, know, you got to make some exactly. money here. Yeah, exactly. But uh, I think that's going to be... I think that's going to be a great beer. Uh, I, I'm, I'm looking forward to what we come up with through process and all. I have... Uh, a beer that I'm collaborating with later in the year with uh, with Jill, my sister. Okay. And she wants to do an old school IPA. I want to do a new school IPA. So we already started talking about a little negotiation in there. We're um, going to create a new style, and it's going to be called uh, New Old School IPA. So we're that's going to be a pretty ambitious beer with some yeast things and some process that okay. uh, is going to be real interesting a later on in the year. Secret sauce. I like it. Yeah, exactly, man. Cool. Uh, what's your favorite style of beer, or do you you know do you have one? Um. I'm a Saison guy. I really am. Um, so for those that don't know, a, a Saison is kind of a farmhouse yeah, table farmhouse, beer. Yeah, yep. Tend to be light. They can be a little peppery, a little clovey. Uh, yes. Very, you know, they get the, it's yeast derived and yes. they'll be very frothy heads and stuff. They're very delicious, very refreshing. Try one, but go ahead. I like refreshing farmhousey um, horse blankets, a great, which you is know, not always a descriptor, it's, it's, by the way, but it is yes, actually. Yes, but sometimes and sometimes in wine. Um, yeah, so I like a little spice. I like a little fruit characteristic. I like yeast derived beers. Um, so again, if if I have to pick that, I'm a big fan of the sour family. Um, so a lot of those guys like the true sours and the sure. lambics and, 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 and uh, the gozes and you know. Yeah, I haven't really. I can't say I've gotten into lambics. I do love sours. I mean, you, you know, you've seen me brew some of yeah. them. I there is a dis distinct distinction between two types of sours, right? There's a, a tart sour, a lactic, yes, and a Britannomyces. So you heard Gary mention horse Funk, blanket. Yes. So those are those funky sours, and oddly enough, um, becoming a certified beer judge as you are as well. You learn that horse blanket, goat, barnyard, and hay can literally describe a delicious beer. Yes. <laughs> you, you're not going to believe me. Listen to this, but you, you'll have to go out and try a, a beer. We'll, we'll try to get some links in the description sure, for a yeah, couple man. of those beer styles and whatnot. Um, but yeah, the, the 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 styles are immense. I mean, there's so many, uh, and I'm sure as you know, like I know I have trouble picking what styles to brew and stuff like that. So you must as well. 
Um, I'd love to do one in time, but some of them take four years because you're blending yeah. in barrels. And right now we're doing uh, so. Do like a kettle sour. Calling it's a sour. It's you know we play with some acid and yeah uh, pH acid. Yeah, and exactly like things like that. You know that um, malic, lactic, sure, you know, sure. citric. So it's not truly, but uh, you know. I would qualify. I would still. Uh, I mean, you know, these terms are broader these days in brewing. <laughs> yeah, it's it's kind of like painting. You know, uh, beauty is in the eye of the beholder. Mm -hmm. And you know, um, I don't know if it, there was a, a famous Michelin star chef who you know he did this whole horse thing. You know, he drew a horse and explained the differences, and, and you can get crazy into it. But uh, you know, things are a little bit subjective. Just because you may not like one sour or one IPA doesn't mean that you're not going to like another one. So so don't give up on them if you find something that you enjoy with it. Are you showcasing Synergy at any festivals this year? Yeah, 100%, 100%. Starfish Junction is is uh, very good friends of mine. The Craft Classic is August 12th. Uh, I will have You'll a, see very, a very special limited release. There will be one keg brewed, and that will be the only place to get that beer. Just a quick little peek under the tent. I am collaborating with the Southampton Animal Shelter for my dog Penguin's uh, one year gotcha day. Penguin's great. So she will be on a can of beer called uh, Who Needs Four Legs? Because <laughs> she is a tripaw. Um, so this is going to be a three hop IPA. Um, will be released August, tw well, the the keg will be August 12th. The cans aren't going to be until August 25th. So like uh, the Craft Classic, look up uh, Allied Beer Events and um, that. And then October 7th at Belmont is always a fun event. We'll be at Platt Deutsch. A couple of... And you go to Jersey and Connecticut sometimes too? or I haven't as much. I kind of reeled it back home, take care Keep of my local. backyard. Sure. You know, it's, I love, love Long it. Island, man. I'm just... Got to love a local. I'm happy to be back home, you know? Poor circumstances, but a great time to be back home. Well, we're, we're glad to have you back. <laughs> what, is, what is the favorite part of, of what you do? Um, the fact that I get to do what I want now. Um, and Be I don't mean boss. that like, uh, well, yeah, you know, I, I had so many ideas and I had done so many things and to kind of pat myself on the back, I came up with a lot of great ideas, a lot of promos, a lot of events. I mean, I did a huge bar crawl in, in uh, New Brunswick, New Jersey with seven bars that raised a lot of money for Recycle a Bicycle. Um, you know, I did a lot of things with Pints for Prostates and raised them a lot of money. So now I don't have the confines of a big distributorship or a big brewery. I could do what I want to do. Like for Penguin's Beer, I'm going to, I'm slapping a QR code on this guy and Perfect. it's going to link directly to Southampton Animal Shelter's wish list, what they need. I get to do that. I love it. You're supporting local I, companies and a hundred percent, you know, I get to do that with the art, you know, cause we originally we're talking about NFTs and you actually taught me what those things were, which I still don't understand. I barely do But too. Uh, But to actually have a tangible thing and yeah. I, like, that's what I like to do, that I get to do this and put my ideas and if they fail, I fall on my face, I wipe, I wipe it off and I go on to the next one instead of somebody else telling me I can't. I, I get to it. try it, man. Always be your own boss. That's Swing something away, that, uh, you know, my father, uh, you know, taught me young, you know, cause we grew up in a small business family. Yeah. And it's like, you know, he's, it's good to be the boss. You know, you're absolutely right. I mean, I'm petrified, yeah. but uh, of course, well, whatever, man. Swing. I'd rather strike out swinging than staring. Hundred percent. So now you mentioned that uh, you know you kind of you're able to get your beers where you want to. Are there any specific locations that people could purchase your beers right now? Oh, hundred percent, man. Um, Bellport Cold Beer and Soda. Uh, Shout out to Dave. Our our man Dave has been doing this a very long time. He is. Uh, again, he helps local businesses, national businesses. New, I he mean, lobbies in New York. He's as an well. extraordinary yeah. human being uh, that I'm proud to consider a family. You know, um, so there, um, West Babylon Superstar does really great uh, for me. Yeah. Rob, really good kid over there. Rob McElroy. He's, he's, he's I probably mispronounced it, but whatever. Um, Long Island Beverage, uh, Shoreline, which is, he's, he's, he, he's OG as well, man. Shoreline yep. down there in Huntington. Uh, it was cool to get in there with my own product, you know, and uh, a ton of other places. Uh, I got a lot of beer in a lot of the Burgerologies. Okay. Uh, which is really fun for me, man. I sure. like those places. <laughs> yeah, listen, a burger and a beer is fantastic. Absolutely. Um, so, you know, whenever you see Synergy, Give it a try. It's absolutely worth it. Uh, we have a local here who is uh, creating these and working with local companies as well. And you had mentioned that you like to collaborate with, uh, you know, local artists, tattoo people and stuff like that. So we'll definitely have uh, contact info in the description below. So that way, if you have an idea or you want to reach out and maybe work with Gary, you can get in touch with him. 
uh, and you can always get in touch with me as well. Well, we do um, Braswell Pilsner. For we can do. Listen, house. I am gotta, always, gotta, gotta, <laughs> always down. Well, well, right now, uh, as a, on a homebrew scale, I do have a local Weiser. Uh, ah. it, it is currently fermenting and should be available for um, hopefully one, a competition coming up. And uh, uh, I'm having a like Memorial Day party and whatnot. Well, between you and I, we could definitely get ourselves a Bravo show. I am always down for that. Um, bravo. Uh, please give us a call. We would love to work with you. Uh, Gary, uh, it has been wonderful chatting with you. Um, let me ask you one last question. If you were to give one piece of advice to somebody who is, you know, ambitious and, and wants to, you know, kind of get into, you know, brewing and creating like you do, what piece of advice would you give them? Do your homework. Become prepared. You know, learn. If you're a home brewer, enter your beer into competitions not just your friends go elsewhere get all the feedback you can educate yourself and as long as you have that education swing away know your pitchers know the catcher that you're facing you know know your obstacles swing away you know i can't just go up against any pitcher i need to do my homework sure. you know much like any catcher knows who's at bat knows their you know the other half of their battery and all just do your homework educate yourself and swing away because you'll know the pitches to swing at and you'll know the ones to you know watch go wide listen taking those swings and making those misses and those mistakes build a great solid foundation gary it has been wonderful having you on ask the locals i really appreciate it the beer's delicious remember stop by dave's bellport cold yes. beer shoreline superstar uh burgerology as well has some stuff on tap maybe maybe not you have to check their list but give synergy beer project a try why because it's made by a local and on Ask the Locals, that's what we do. We support our local companies. Thank you very much for watching. And Gary, cheers. Thank you so much, Ryan. I appreciate it. Oop, as we first camera, uh, microphone knock. <laughs> Actually, I'm Mic drop. <laughs> How you doing? Ryan Braswell with Local Realty here. And I wanted to talk to you about Ask the Locals. So it's a video series, podcast style uh, videos, where we are helping local community members, such as yourself, beyond buying and selling their real estate. As broker owner of Local Realty, I'm here to help educate, inform, and guide clients, customers, agents, and people like you with things more than just how to successfully buy or sell a home. During Locals Only, we're going to interview local business owners, people who may have services that you might find useful. So if you have any suggestions or questions, please drop a comment or reach out to me directly. And as always, like, share, and subscribe. I really appreciate it. Cheers.